Yo, what's up gamers? Russ here, coming at you with another weekly vault opening stream, uh, stream video. I am pretty excited for this one because it is the day of double legendaries for us here in the EU. Um, super stoked about that. It's a nice day outside. I've been sitting outside eating my breakfast, chilling with my dog. Um, and now we are going to jump into some vaults. So got three vaults today, Rogue, Shami, DH, um, in order of size so we're going to start on the rogue um it's a pretty small one so here we are on the rogue um i have only got two mythic plus slots on the rogue i believe uh, unless i did anything else i can't remember um so two chances at 278 loot um the plan for the rogue this patch is to really kind of like let it stack up with tier pieces maybe the zymox trinket um those key items that you need for mythic plus before i start playing it in mythic plus so right now i'm just doing weeklies on it um I do have three pieces of tier, so I'm kind of hoping for a chest or a shoulder tier piece to finish off the four piece. Other than that, um, a trinket, maybe like a new file. I don't actually know if vial is good for rogue this season or not, but any other trinket, maybe like a shadow grass totem could be great too, or maybe a big main hand weapon because I believe that double edge of night is decent, but a big main hand and an edge of night offhand is like what you prefer. So basically a tier piece, a trinket or a dagger is kind of what I'm looking for. Um, but any other piece would be kind of fine because my gear is a little bit behind on this character. So let's just go ahead and open it up and let's see what we take. We only got two chances, so small chance to get tier, but maybe we will get a not tier piece, a raid finder chest. Okay, I forgot I did raid finder. I didn't know you could get it in the vault actually. <clears throat> Uh, haste, ma haste versus bra uh, ring or crit versus braces. So I think it's the crit versus braces, without question. Um, they they've got good stats. They're two seven eight. Um, you know it is what it is, but it's still an upgrade. It's um I guess a technical technically technically bis item. So can't complain too much. And I got a Celia's gambit, which is actually quite a nice key. I'm going to chuck those on before I forget about them. Um, there they are. All right, so 253. Uh, yeah, it's just kind of biding its time, really. Um, and then it's going to power up later in the season. That's my that's my hope for it. Um, onto the chamois, then. I've been really, really, really enjoying chamois. My camera's still zoomed in from when we were making a silly transmog the other day on stream. Um, yeah, I've been really enjoying the rest of Shami, actually. Um, I've got all three Mythic Plus slots done on this guy, and I think then some. I, I did so many plus 15s. Uh, I think I was healing like 15, 16, 17s on this guy. I'm only like 246. I, I've had really, I've been really unlucky with getting gear, um, but it's still fun anyway. It's still fun to heal the keys. So, uh, and doing like DPS as well, like 4k overall DPS in this gear while healing like a 15 or 16 or whatever this was. Obviously, we had good DPS, but it's just really fun. And I'm super, super excited about getting double legendary on this guy this week. So that'll be, I'm going to be rolling the Vesper Totem legendary because I'm Kyrian, um, plus the Earth Elemental, having that constant earthquake around it. I'm really, really looking forward to that. So let's just see what we get. I'm going to open this one as Ellie Loot Spec. Um, what do I want? Probably trinkets. I kind of, I, I rolled a weapon last week on this guy and a shield the week before when I couldn't quite do 15s. Um, Honestly, any of these uh, main slots, like the helm, the uh, chest, legs, um, like any of those would be great. A tier piece would be cool, I guess, um, if it's a high eye level one. Otherwise, like any slot that has a low piece, I'm kind of okay with. Um, but maybe a trinket would be really nice, like a, a nice changeling or soul letting ruby or just like any big intellect trinket. Honestly, at this point would be really, really nice. And I've clicked it, but it's not doing a cast bar for some reason. Am I lagging? Right, I got DC'd, but we're back now. So I'm going to open this one as Ellie, and uh, let's see what we get. Apparently it's still not working. Here we go. Here we go. It's working now. I don't know if I'm lagging or the game's lagging, because I have 24 MS. All right, let's go. Um, Shoulders looks good to me. Um, Wrists with verse mastery. The shoulders are a huge upgrade. I don't really think I can go wrong with... Yeah, I think I'm going to go with shoulders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so here's my logic. Um, I'm not thrilled about the haste mastery stats weights on the shoulders, but <clears throat> firstly, and obviously, it's a pretty huge eye level upgrade. Let's say, is that a 36 eye level upgrade? Um, 32 eye level upgrade. No? Am I dumb? 
it's a 42 eye level upgrade um so that's great um so a lot of uh, intellect a lot of why what's happening right third time's the charm i think blizzard's having some problems with its service with battle.net or something um my internet works just fine i just tested it um so uh i wonder if the loot is the same as before i dc'd but we'll find out yeah it is okay so um the reason i'm going with shoulders is obviously the immediate eye level upgrade is nice the stats i'm not thrilled about but when the creation catalyst comes out in i think four more weeks time i can turn this into a 278 tier piece which i'm sure over time i'm going to accumulate on the chamois even though i'm not like super going for the tier set i might as well start to accumulate it so a 278 piece in any of the slots head shoulders chest gloves legs um is always something to look out for so that in the end game you can get those mythic level tier pieces because i'm not planning mythic raiding on the chamois so this will be really really nice the the braces you know is is cool and all the ring is cool and all but the shoulders is like for sure what i'm going to roll out of these three options pretty sad it wasn't something better or more exciting but at least i get a uh let's see how much eye level probably like two eye levels from this um now they're not equipping of course of course they're not equipping uh, there we go all right yeah we got two eye levels off it so pretty nice we're finally rising up um and uh, let's do the big boy the dh and let's just hope that the internet works so quick update on my demon hunter last week you guys saw me get my pull my first tier piece from the vault actually that was this chest piece here uh since then i went and did lfr and i got the legs so last week i did actually get my two set right on the wednesday on the reset day um so i rolled this one in the vault i took this one from raid finder which had to get traded for me then we went normal and i managed to loot the gloves and then we went did a heroic uh, progress run and we killed lots of dread then i looted the heroic shoulder so i actually went from zero pieces to four all in last reset so i'm now a four piece gamer a 4p uh gamer dh on my main um i've got the wrong trinkets on usually i'm running uh this file and cymox trinket i guess um they're gonna take a second to equip because of the internet thing i don't know what's going on uh, if it's the internet if it's me or blizzard i don't know but um it's gonna be kind of annoying when i try to open my vault i can already predict that so while that's sorting itself out i will um go through what i would like to get so i already have weapons sorted i'm pretty sure i won't be taking these weapons off anytime soon um i think having the vein ripper offhand is great pox storm main hand uh pretty much can't get better than that um what i would like ideally is actually i would quite like a tier helm <laughs> um a 278 if possible that would be amazing because that means i could then craft my unity in the tier glove slot that will be my fifth tier piece but it will mean that i can put unity on gloves um, which isn't like the end end game solution, but it will mean that I don't have to wear tier gloves with 85 mastery on them. Mastery is very, very bad for Demon Hunter. So I'd prefer to put Unity on the gloves and have the other four pieces of tier sort. Then I can have my gloves at 291 eye level two. Um, aside from that, I think the next best things, I probably want a second trinket. So I'm running, it's not equipping, but I'm running um, file 272 right now, which is pretty much the best. And I'm running this uh, Cache of Acquired Treasures, which while is really, really nice in Mythic Plus, I really hate using it in the raid. So I want something for the raid. Um, probably a Shadowgrass Totem or a Infinitely Divisible Ooze. Infinitely Divisible Ooze and Shadowgrass are pretty much usable in like any situation. I don't think they'll trump this uh, Cache of Acquired Treasures on AoE, but on single target and just like simplicity of using them, I would like to have one of the two. Um, I think that would be great. Other than that, um, yeah, basically tier helm or like an upgrade on any of my lower tier pieces, except for the gloves. I do not want more tier gloves. Um, and yeah, then just any off piece really. Um, maybe like a big ring, but I'm probably going to go grab this time walking ring when Legion time walking rolls around again. Um, so yeah, and like double legendary comes out today. I'm planning on putting one on my neck, my braces, and my maybe my belt. If I don't get if I don't get a tear helm here, and then I can put unity on the gloves. I'm gonna put unity on probably the belt or the boots or something. Right, we are back, and um, seemed to be actually that the internet thing was on my end. So hopefully it holds at least until the end of the video. 
and then I can go and edit that without internet. It doesn't really matter. I would re-record this usually, but um, I can't really do that with the vault openings because I don't want to just fake my reaction and things like that. And I can't really take items from the vault twice. So uh, sadly, that's just kind of the format we're going to have to go with for today. Um, but yes, as I was saying, we'd like to see a trinket um, or a tier head piece, ideally. So let's just see what we go for. I have eight out of nine available slots on this one. So I'm pretty hopeful um, for at least a tier piece, but uh, we'll see which one we roll. So let's open it as Havoc and let's just get going. Um, I don't know. Can my DH stay lucky? What do we have? What do we have? What do we have? Um, oh, that's a helm. That's a helm. That's a helm. Okay. I mean, that's kind of what I asked for, right? There's a weapon, which I don't need. A ticking sack of terror, which I'm definitely going to check if it's good. Because, uh, as I said, trinkets... And I've heard things about that one. The only problem with that is it's mastery. It's mastery uh, and then just damage. So I'm going to have to check that one real quick. Otherwise, I'm leaning towards the helm because I don't have the helm. And that would also mean I can trade the helm to my raiders, which is good. Um, it also means I can put unity on my gloves. Um, there's also tier legs. Dude, I got... Okay, yeah, I got two tier pieces, legs and helm. That's actually crazy. That's actually crazy. I think we're going to take the helm because I have the legs, even though the LFR. Um, I can trade. That's so loud. What is that? Um, that means I can trade the helm away, but it also means I can stop wearing the gloves, which are normal as well. And put. What is that? I don't want this crying kid in my ear. Um, yes, I think I'm going to take that one, but I'm going to check the ticking sack of terror. So I checked on uh, Hero Damage and Blood Mallet, both of the Trinket sections, just a cross-reference. Ticking Sakatera is pretty far down. Um, it's worse than a Shadow Grasp of Vile and the Divisible Ooze, uh, even at just like a 272 level that I could get quite easily from Mythic Plus. So I'm going to leave that one, and I am going to go for the Helm, which is going to be really good, actually. I'm, I'm kind of hyped over that. Sad it wasn't in a 278 slot, but I'm going to take the Helmet, I now have five pieces of tier. Uh, I'm going to equip that one. And uh, now I'm all five pieces of tier. That's pretty cool. Which means I can take off the gloves. And I'm going to craft my unity on the gloves with uh, haste verse, I think. I think that's what I'm going to go with. So I'm going to have 291 gloves, which is actually awesome. I already pre-bought. Look at the prediction. I pre-bought the uh, white item last night for like 50k because i thought we were going to go up in price um and now i can actually do that that was kind of a pipe dream of mine to be able to put unity on the gloves so that is actually awesome i'm really happy with that sad about the trinket but i'm just going to have to go farm a uh, shadow grass totem or infinite divisible ooze in m plus like this week i think so boss and plague full spam for me i think um but that is awesome i'm really happy with that so there you go that's the video guys um appreciate appreciate you guys for watching hopefully you enjoyed it um feel free to click up here to see my other vault opening videos and here to see the video i released yesterday about shadowlands season four which is coming um feel free to check that out um head on over to the twitch stream twitch.tv for just us like the video um thank you to the patrons uh that support the channel there's more information on that down below and i will uh catch you guys in the next video hopefully another commentary coming out in a couple of days um, along with maybe some boss kills, heroic and stuff when I'm trying out the new Venthyr build. Because I'm going to go get my double legendary right now uh, and try Venthyr Demon Hunter. So I'll make a video about that. All right. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. As always, peace.